WMBG, we are Williamsburg's radio station. How's it going, everybody? Ty Hodges here on a Thursday. It is 3.15, which means it is time for the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Culture Fix here in Virginia. And we have a star-studded cast in studio today. The members of Good Shot Judy here in studio on the Super Sound Showcase. Welcome in to all of you. Hey, hey, hey thanks for having us. As you, as you can hear, ladies and gentlemen, we have a packed studio. Uh, so to our to our uh, designated speaker here, do you want to uh, introduce our listeners to everyone that they're going to hear today? Absolutely. Uh, starting on this end, uh, it's my brother Jeff Cahoon on upright bass. The legendary Buzz King uh, is going to be on snare drum today. The lovely Chelsea Pierce is going to be singing some uh, some backup vocals and actually some lead vocals. Uh, my name is Brett Cahoon. I'm the band leader and vocalist. I'll be playing ukulele today as well. And then my good friend Brandon Musco on alto sax and possibly some flute as well. Well, welcome in studio to all of you. So for people who are familiar with this this segment, they're they're more than likely tuned in to Williamsburg music scene. And if they are tuned into the Williamsburg music scene, they know who Good Shot Judy is. They know all about you all because it seems like I'm out at every festival, every restaurant. You guys are everywhere. I don't know how you do it. You have like a million members, so maybe that helps, but you guys are everywhere. For the people who are somehow not aware of who Good Shot Judy is, tell us a little bit about you guys. Uh, well, you know, the, the group started as a, um, the, you know, the idea was to take this wonderful music, jazz standards and big band music and breathe some life back into it, perform it in a way um, that wasn't sleepy or backgroundy or just something you'd hear in the supermarket. Um, or the Italian restaurant. So that's kind of how we got started. And uh, we started as a three piece with just myself on piano and vocals, my brother Jeff on bass and, and, uh, and a drummer. Uh, and then from there we met Brandon Musco, um, who was a, uh, a horn player. He actually is from Pittsburgh, but uh, lived in the area to, because of Bush Gardens. He uh, came on with us and uh, from there we've added other horn players. We've had upgrades in almost every position, um, <clears throat> including you know, vocalists and uh, and our drummer Buzz King has been with us now, I guess about two years uh, as the full-time guy. So um, we've really been so, so fortunate in having things go the way we wanted them to go and have um, in people. We found out that it wasn't just us that believed this music was fantastic and should be performed in a live manner, but um, the response from the, the fans and the general public has been overwhelmingly positive. And now that, that was gonna be my next question is, you know, what has the, the um, the reception been like to a band like you all because a lot of people that go out they expect to hear you know just like a guitar maybe some drums you guys bring something completely different to the table how long did it take for you guys to really take off you know probably the first year and a half to two years were maybe the the toughest times we found ourselves performing a lot and um in places that we're used to just having a, a guitar and vocal duo or something like that and we were bringing something that cost a lot more money to travel with and a, and, a, and a lot bigger personnel to make it happen. So, so for example, on a gig that might pay enough for a, um, you know, two guys to play and sing and, and make a decent amount of money, we were bringing four people or five people. And uh, we just kept believing that uh, taking the pay cut ourselves, you know, and, and putting a larger product on stage would eventually, people would start to understand how much fun it was and how much fun it could be. And and now, you know, we've been blessed to uh, enough that that was successful enough um, that, you know, our, our holiday shows this year are going to be about 20 people on stage, um, wow. including, you know, some string, the strings. Uh, we have some string players from the Richmond Symphony and Virginia Symphony joining us and, you know, a 10 piece band, a trio of female vocals. So uh, it's really been tremendous. I mean, that is, that is incredible. It's quite the evolution. And uh, logistically, I'm curious, how tough is it to, uh, to organize a 20-piece a production like that? Because that sounds like it's uh, probably a little bit tricky. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never make any mistakes, and that's really what's led to it. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so absolutely. And, you know, in using a lot of different players, um, you know, there, there's a ton of scheduling. And we've been fortunate enough to find players from the Air Force Band and the Army Band and uh, we've been blessed to attract a, a ton of great players, but a lot of these people who are working professionally as musicians, including the symphony players, uh, they have a lot of other commitments, so it's really tough scheduling-wise. And, um, you know, we've had our fair share of learning curve along the way. And so in that time period that you all have grown and evolved, and, and I say grow, not only as people, as a band, but literally in the amount of members that you have, um, what has been your favorite place to play? What has been the, the highlight so far, the highlight performance? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say for me, um, 
you know, we, we opened for Big Bad Voodoo Daddy uh, mm-hmm. at, uh, on Labor Day weekend out at the American Music Fest in Virginia Beach, and that was really that was fun, a, a ton yeah, of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that was number one. Yeah. But also the, our holiday shows was, as yeah, well yeah. at the Kimball yep. Theater, you know, um, and the other venues. You know, we've been fortunate enough to sell out every holiday performance we've booked um, the last couple of years, and so those have, have really been um, a ton of fun, and also, yeah, it means a lot to us to have that kind of support from the community and, and to be able to sell every ticket and come on stage with uh, a perf- give a performance of music that you've worked on so hard for so long and that people care enough to, to fill every seat in the house. That's a lot of fun. And and just given the, the rise that you all have had in such a short period of time just locally, I'm curious, what is what is the direction look like for Good Shot Judy moving forward? What what are your goals? What are your aspirations? Where do you want to be performing? What you know, just just what does the future hold for you all or what do you hope it holds? Right. Well, you know, we've um we've started traveling a lot more as a private event band and so like I think this week alone we've been booked in Roanoke and Raleigh and Tennessee. Uh, and so you know, we have a lot of fun traveling and doing that that sort of thing as well. We're we're also considering, um, you know, taking our show, a Crooner's Christmas, a holiday show, to a touring level for for next year. So this year, I believe it, we have maybe a half a dozen performances booked of it around you know Richmond and and Williamsburg and the Peninsula. Um, but you know, we were thinking by next year that that may be something that the touring division of our of our agency hopefully will could help us out with and, and put us on the road for the entire month of December. So Well, that would be very cool. Um, and for anyone who wants to see you locally, do you have any shows coming up that you all would like to uh, to plug real quick? Absolutely. You know what? Um, well, tonight, as almost as most Thursdays, we'll be at the Williamsburg Lodge, and it's um, it's where all the cool kids hang out. So <laughs> 7 to 10, you know, if yeah. uh, you know, almost every Thursday we're there. So uh, it's kind of where the elite meet to eat <laughs> and, uh, and have a good time. Uh, and then tomorrow night... Um, Friday, uh, we are at Rhythms on the River Walk at Yorktown Beach, which is going to be a, a ton of fun. There's always a great atmosphere out there. It's yeah. right by the uh, right by the York River, and uh, there's usually a good crowd. And it looks like the weather's going to be perfect for it. So we're really excited about that. And at that show, you know, we'll be bringing our. Uh, actually, I think we're going to be ten pieces tomorrow. So, um, you know, so it's an opportunity to see us for free. You know, with a, a larger group, which is that always more uh, fun. Six thirty to eight thirty. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Six thirty eight thirty. Rhythms on the River Walk. Yep. And then uh, I'm going to plug you guys real quick. GoodshotJudy.com is the website if you want to go, if you want to see all the the hundreds and hundreds of members that uh, that they have. If you want to check out some of the music, photos, um, check out upcoming shows, GoodshotJudy.com. And we are thrilled to have them here in the Super Sound Showcase today, brought to you by Culture Fix. When we come back after this quick commercial break, we're going to hear them perform live in studio here on WMBG, playing the music you love. And we are back here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix, back with Good Shot Judy, and they are about to perform for us live in studio. So I want to know, what are we going to hear first? The people are excited. Uh, this next tune is a, uh, or this first tune, excuse me, is a duet called uh, Mango Tree. Mango Tree. And you said this was a uh, Zach Brown Yep, band? it was written by Zach Brown. It's uh, my favorite tune of his, and uh, it's really uncharacteristic for him, uh, mostly as a country artist, to be uh, have written a piece that's very big band, very swing. So. Wonderful. Well, we are thrilled to hear it. Good shot, Judy, here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix. Take it away.
tree. Good shot, Judy, here on the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix. That was a very fun song. I'm, gl- I'm glad you guys one. chose to enju- to uh, to include that today. So we got time for one more hit. Uh, what are you going to play for us now? Uh, this next one's a Queen song called uh, Crazy Little Thing Called Love. All right, let's hear it. Oh, this thing I called love, well, I just... Can't handle this thing called love. Well, I must get around to it. I ain't ready for this crazy little thing called love. Oh, this thing called love. Well, it cries in the cradle of my swing. And it jives, shakes all over like a jellyfish. Good shot, Judy, here on the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix. This has been an absolute treat having you guys in studio. I'm kicking myself for it having taken so long to get you all in here, but I'm so glad we finally got you guys. Thank you very much. You all are wonderful. Thank you. Um, Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thank and, you. and again, if you guys uh, want to plug your upcoming shows, social media, all that right now, please take this sure, opportunity. Once, once again, you can find us uh, tonight at the Williamsburg Lodge and tomorrow night at um, R- Rhythms on the River Walk at Yorktown Beach, 630 to 830. Also check us out at goodshotjudy.com or facebook.com slash goodshotjudy. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys again so much for coming in studio. You all were wonderful. And uh, we will have another great act coming up next week here on the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Culture Fix here on WMBG. We are Williamsburg's radio station.